725, and you want to subtract from that 196. So we draw the minus sign and the bar like this. Now, the right-hand column says we need to take 5 and subtract 6, but the problem is 5 is not big enough to take away 6. So what do we do? We turn that 5 into a 15. How do we do that? We borrow it from next door, so the 2 becomes a 1. So now we can say 15 minus 6. Start with 15 in your mind and you go down. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. So 15 minus 6 is 9. All right? Next, we go into the uh, column next door. 1 minus 9. Same problem. 1 is not large enough. So what we have to do is make this 1 into an 11. How do we do that? We borrow it from the next door 7 and make it a 6. So now we say, what is 11 minus 9? Start with 11, go down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So 11 minus 9 is 2, and that goes in this column. Now we go to the third column, uh, here the hundreds column here. 6 minus 1 is 5. You just go down and give it a 5 there. So we have 529. This is the final answer. Every one of these problems will be done the same way. There are no trick questions. Nothing crazy. We're just going to get practice doing the same thing because we have to learn how to do it uh, very, very easily without worrying about it. Now, what if we have 321 and we'll subtract from that 109? Same thing. Let's go to the right hand column. 1 minus 9. Can't do that because 1 is not large enough. So we'll change the 1 and we'll make it 11. How do we do that? We take it away from the next column. The 2 then becomes a 1. Now we can say 11 minus 9. So then we start with 11, go down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We land on 2. So 11 minus 9 is 2. Now the next column, 1 minus 0. It means we start at 1. We don't take away anything, so we still have a 1. Now we go to the next column, 3 minus 1. Start with 3, you go down by 1, and you, get, and you land on the number 2. So the answer is 212. Okay, great. Let's keep, on, keep going and, and getting more practice. What if we have 745 and subtract one that from that 152? Minus sign like this. Now in the right-hand column, what is 5 minus 2? Start with 5 in our mind and go down 4, 3. So 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 goes in this column. Now we have 4 minus 5, but we have a problem because 4 is not big enough to subtract 5, so we turn the 4 into a 14. How do we do it? We borrow it from the next door 7 and make it a 6. Now what is 14 minus 5? Start with 14 and go down. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. And we land on 9. 14 minus 5 is 9, so the 9 goes right here. Now in the next column, 6 minus 1 means we just go down from 6 and turn that into a 5. 6 minus 1 is 5, and we have 593. That's the final answer. All right, so same process. We're just going to get more practice as we move along here. What if we have 549, and we'll subtract from that 360. So we go in the right-hand column. What is 9 minus 0? We start with 9, we take away nothing, so we are left with 9. Then we go 4 minus 6, but we can't do that because 4 is not big enough. So we change that 4 into a 14. How do we do that? We change the 5 next door into a 4. We borrow from the next door. What is 14 minus 6? Start with 14 and go down. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. And we land on 8. So 14 minus 6 is 8. And so 8 goes in this column. Now what is 4 minus 3? You probably know the answer, but start with 4, go down 3, 2, 1 we land on the number 1. Makes sense. Start with 4, subtract 3, you're going to have 1 left. So the answer is 189. All right, great. Let's continue on here. What if we have 830, and we'll subtract from that 710. Now in the right column, 0 minus 0, you start with nothing, you take away nothing, you still have nothing. 0 minus 0 is 0. 3 minus 1 is very easy. Start with 3, go down by 1, and you get to 2. 8 minus 7 is also easy. You probably know the answer, but if you don't remember, start with 8, go down. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So 8 minus 7 is 1. Makes sense. You start with 8, and you take away 7, you're going to have 1 left. So the answer is 120. We didn't have to borrow anywhere in that problem. 
uh, because all the numbers on the top were bigger than the numbers on the bottom, or equal to in the case of the zero. Now we have 457, and we'll subtract from that 329. All right, so what do we do next? We look in the right column, seven minus nine. The problem is seven is not big enough to take away nine, so we change that seven into a 17. In order to do that, the five becomes a four. So we have 17 minus nine. Start with 17 and go down, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight. So we say that 17 minus nine is actually eight, and so eight goes in this column. Here, four minus two, you all know that two plus two is four. So if we start at four and we take away two, what do we get? Two. Same thing here, four minus three. Start with four, take away three. The answer we get and we have left is one. So we have 128, that's the final answer. Okay, next we have 971 minus 572. Same process. Start with one and subtract two, but you can't do it because one is not big enough. So the one will become a 11. How do we do that? We borrow from next door, the seven becomes a six. Now we say, what is 11 minus two? Start at 11, go down, 10, nine. And we land on nine. So 11 minus two is nine, so nine goes right here. Now we go to the next door neighbor and say, what is six minus seven? But that's not big enough. We have to have something larger, so we change the six into a 16. And to do that, the nine must then become an eight. So then what is 16 minus seven? Start with 16 and go down, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 10, 9. So 16 minus 7 is 9. All right, next we go 8 minus 5. Start with 8 in your mind, go down. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So 8 minus 5 is 3, and the answer we get is 399. And so 971 minus 572 is 399. Great, just a few more problems. What if we have 626, and we'll subtract from that 146? Okay, in the right-hand column, what happens when we start with 6 and we take 6 away? Well, then we don't have anything left. 6 minus 6 is 0. Now we go over to 2. 2 minus 4. Can't really do that because 2 is not big enough, so we change this 2 into a 12. In order to do that, the 6 must become a 5. 12 minus 4. Start with 12 in your mind, go down, 11, 10, 9, 8. And so the answer we land on is 8. 12 minus 4 is 8. Now we go to this column, 5 minus 1, you just start with 5, you go down by 1, you get to 4. And the answer is 480. All right, only two more problems. What if we have 721 and we subtract one that from that 144? So we start in the right-hand column. We say, what is one minus four? We can't do that. So we change the one into an 11. In order to do that, the two must then become a one. So what is 11 minus four? Start with 11, go down. 10, nine, eight, seven. And we land on seven. So seven goes right here. Next, we go to the next column. Let's say, what is 1 minus 4? We can't do that because 1 is not big enough, so the 1 becomes an 11. In order to do that, we have to borrow and make the 7 a 6. So then we say, what is 11 minus 4? Start with 11 in your mind, go down. 10, 9, 8, 7. And so the answer is 7. 11 minus 4 is 7. Now we say, what is 6 minus 1? We start at 6 and we go down by 1 to get to 5. So we get 577 for the answer. Okay, only one more problem left. We have 863, and we'll subtract from that 692. All right, so we go over to the right, and we say, what is three minus two? Well, if we start with three and we take two away, the answer that we have is one left. And we go to this column, six minus nine. Can't really do that because six is not large enough. So we'll make it 16 here. In order to do that, we have to borrow and make the eight into a seven. 16 minus nine, start with 16 and go down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven. So 16 minus nine is seven, and so seven goes in this column right here. Next, what is seven minus six? If you start with seven and you take away six, how many do you have? You only have one left. So you have 171. 
So in this lesson, we have gotten a lot of practice with subtracting three digit numbers. You can see sometimes you have to borrow, sometimes you don't have to borrow, also called regrouping. Sometimes when you regroup, you only have to do it one time, sometimes you have to do it two times. It all depends on the problem. So you work very slow and carefully, be very neat with your work. I want you to practice all of these, make sure you get it, and then follow me on to the next lesson where we're gonna continue practice subtraction of three digit numbers. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.